ESPN has just dropped their top 100 player rankings for the 2023-24 season, and we're going to go through the whole entire list. I'm not going to give my opinion on many of them because 100 players, that's a that's going to take a long time. So let's jump straight into it. At number 100, we've got Mitchell Robinson from the Knicks. 99, Jonas Valanciunas. 98, we've got Colin Sexton. 97, Grant Williams, 96, Harrison Barnes, 95, Jalen Williams of OKC, the one with no Y in his name. And this one was a shock to me. At 94, we've got Russell Westbrook. Last year, his rank was 65, so dropping 29. At 93, we've got Mike Conley, 92, Emmanuel Quickly, 91, Josh Hart, and 90, John Collins. A few New York Knicks players in the 90s. 89, we've got the new trailblazer, Robert Williams III. 88, we've got Kevon Looney. 87, we've got Buddy Heald. 86, this is a surprise as well, Kyle Kuzma. 85, Anthony Simons. 84, Clint Capella. 83, Tobias Harris. 82, Cameron Johnson. 81, Bobby Portis. 80, the young fella, Jalen Green. 79, Tyler Hero. 78, Scoot Henderson. 77, Jordan Clarkson. 76, Chris Paul. He dropped a massive 55 places. 75, Nikola Vucevic. 74, Cade Cunningham. He dropped 39 places. I suppose he was injured for majority of last season, so that makes sense. But then... 73, we've got Chet Holmgren, who didn't play last year. 72, Jordan Poole. 71, RJ Barrett. 70, Walker Kessler. 69, we've got Brooke Lopez. 68, Michael Porter Jr. 67, OG Ananobi. 66, Austin Reeves. There he is, AR. 65, Miles Turner. 64, Rudy Gobert. 63, Scotty Barnes. 62, Chris Stapps Porzingis. 61, Desmond Bain. I think Desmond Bain's going to shock a lot of people this season, especially when Ja Morant is not playing due to suspension. He's going to lead the Grizzlies for sure. At number 60, we've got DeJounte Murray. 59, Marcus Smart. 58, Jeremy Grant. 57, Zion Williamson. Another one, because of his injuries, he's going to be that low. But next year, if he can play all of this season next year, look look for him to be at least a top 20. 56, Fred Van Vliet. 55, Draymond Green. 54, Andrew Wiggins. 53, Josh Giddy. 52, Franz Wagner. 51, Aaron Gordon. Cracking the top 50, we've got Jared Allen at number 50. DeAndre Ayton at number 49. At number 48, LaMelo Ball. Number 47, Victor Wembanyama. Number 46, Chris Middleton. Number 45, Julius Randle. Number 44, CJ McCollum. Number 43, James Harden. Number 42, Tyrese Maxey. Number 41, Clay Thompson. Number 40, Evan Mobley. Number 39, DeMar DeRozan. Number 38, Zach Levine. Number 37, Bradley Beal. Number 36, Darius Garland. Number 35, Ja Morant. That one's a shock to me. I said in the video yesterday... Uh, I don't really understand it. It would only go off his uh, suspension. And then the next one surprises me as well. Number 34, Kyrie Irving. Number 33, we've got Mikael Bridges. Number 32, Jalen Brunson. Number 31, the Defensive Player of the Year, Jaron Jackson Jr. Number 30, Paolo Bancaro. Number 29, Trey Young. Number 28, Larry Markkinen. Was unranked last year, so that's pretty cool. Number 27, Brandon Ingram, number 26, Drew Holiday, the same as last year. Number 25, Pascal Siakam. Number 24, Kawhi Leonard. Number 23, De'Aaron Fox. Number 22, Demana Sabonis, the Kings duo. Number 21, Tyrese Halliburton, a former Kings player. Number 20, Carl Anthony Towns. Number 19, Jalen Brown. Number 18, Paul George. Number 17, Jamal Murray. Number 16, Bam Adebayo. Number 15, Donovan Mitchell. Number 14, Damian Lillard. Number 13, Anthony Edwards. Number 12, Jimmy Butler. Number 11, Devin Booker. And now we're getting into the top 10. At number 10, we've got Anthony Davis. I don't want to say it, but I think he might be a bit too high. We'll have to wait and see another season. Number 9, we've got LeBron James. Number 8, we've got SGA. Number seven, we've got Kevin Durant. Number six, we've got Jason Tatum. 
Top five now. Number five, we've got Steph Curry. Number four, we've got Luka Doncic. Top three, number three, Joel Embiid, the MVP. And that leaves us with two. At number two, we've got Nikola Jokic, which means at number one, we've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. So let me know in the comment section who was too high, who was too low, or who was just right. Do you agree with the top ten? Just let me know in the comments.